today we will see the surface and interface phenomena so what is uh, surface and interface the interface is the boundary between two or more phases which exist together and uh, this uh, property of molecule which forms interface are different from those in the bulk okay? suppose for example one is solid and one is a liquid or liquid when oil is added into the water then it forms interface several types of interface can exist between two two different phases depending upon phase like solid liquid or gases the important of inter interfacial phenomena in pharmacy is the adsorption of drugs on drug adjuvants in dosage forms right and uh, sometimes drug has to penetrate into the biological membrane depending upon its depending upon its interfacial phenomena it can able to go through the biological membrane emulsion formation and stability now for the preparation of emulsion also we have to be with the interfacial otherwise it will leads to the separation and dispersion of insoluble particles to form suspension now what is liquid interface surface and interfacial tension in this there is a cohesive force between adjacent molecules are well developed see the molecule on the surface when the molecules in the surface then it is attracted by the inner forces so all the molecules are attracted inside okay they are surrounded in all direction right but when the molecules in the surface it is attracted by bulk right and when the molecules in the bulk then it is completely balanced attracted by all the sides so for the molecules in the surface only cohesive force with other liquid molecules they are situated below and adjacent to this right so they can develop adhesive force of attraction with the molecule of the other phase in the interface right and the next effect is that the molecules on the surface of liquid expression experience an inward force towards the bulk right because of this mechanism your droplets has spherical in shape because of this in internal attractions right so to keep this equilibrium equal force must be applied to oppose the inward tension in the surface and it is called as surface tension it is a force per unit length that must be applied parallel to the surface so as to counterbalance the net inward pull and hence you need of surface tension is dime per centimeter and what is surface interfacial tension that is a force per unit length existed at the interface between two immiscible liquids remember this in the surface tension one is surface and here in the interfacial tension there is two inter immiscible liquids are there and units will remain same for both okay now the work the blue required to create unit area of surface is known as surface free energy energy per unit area and it is measured in terms of arg for dynes and per per centimeter square right so when you do the work on the surface then at equilibrium surface energy should be minimum okay so the liquid droplet assumes a spherical shape and smallest surface unit per surface area per unit area is should be achieved right now this is the theoretical part now main is measurement of surface and interfacial tension the method of measuring surface and interfacial tension is capillarized method ring tensiometer drop weight method the choice of the method for measuring surface and interfacial tension depends upon whether size of the sample whether surface of tension is required or accuracy required okay depending on this factor we are going to select the method now first capillary right now in this method capillary tube is placed in liquid 
and uh, in which we want to measure its surface tension and when you put the capillary the liquid will rise above its level right so using capillary and here this cohesive force it is a force existing between two molecules in the surface of liquid and the adhesive force is a force existing between unlike molecules right so when force of adhesion is greater than cohesive the liquid is said to wet the capillary and spread over it and rise in the liquid why liquid rise in the capillary above its level so this is the reason okay, when force of adhesive is greater than the cohesive then it starts to rise okay now when the capillary tube inside radius is measured and it continue to rise until the upward force is balanced by downward force downward force is because of gravity right to pani upar jaise hai na the gravity creates this fine so because of this there is a complete downward force that is applied the upward force is resulting from surface tension of liquid at any point is given by a is equal to y cos theta total upward surface around the inside surface of the tube so that's why we are going to add its circumference 2 pi r okay so upward force is equal to 2 pi r y cos theta and downward force is because of gravity it is called as m into acceleration okay so pi r square h rho g it is density it is the formula for density pi r square h rho g plus weight w is upper part of minus cos no weight ki tension right so at maximum height the both the force become equal and after which liquid stops the rising into the capillary so 2 pi r y cos theta a down upward force and downward is pi r square h rho g plus w okay so when you p0 of theta and w can be easily disregarded and surface tension can be calculated by pi r square h rho g rho g now then cancel karna hona okay now second is ring due tensiometer it is used for measuring surface and interfacial tension here instrument is used force necessary to detach here we are going to use platinum iridium ring okay so we have to immerse this ring at the interface between two liquid and the force required to detach this ring is measured and the equation of this is y is equal to f by 2 pi r1 and r2 r1 and r2 is inner and outer radius of the ring okay and f is detachment force of detachment right so by this how much is the force and how much is the inner and outer radius by this way you can directly find out the surface tension of this okay so this is the third method is drop weight and drop volume method Okay. if the volume or weight of drop is, as it is detached from the tip of is determined then surface or interfacial tension can be also determined it is the method called as using stelegometer right so take the stelegometer fill the liquid and find the number of drops coming from point 1 to point 2 or otherwise weight of the drops okay so here the equation you use this half surface tension is equal to phi correction factor mg mass of the drop gravity and density rho okay so phi correction factor is required because not all the drop leaves it depend on detachment right that's why we have to put the correction factors okay so we is done this rho 1 upon w1 w2 and t1 t2 okay
okay so these are the three methods for measurement of interfacial tension first is capillary rise method second is ring attachment method ring tensiometer and drop weight and drop count method okay today we will do this much okay